following are a list of database table column constraints. So you can have null values in any column of, in your, of your table except for primary key columns. So you should use the keywords not null in your creates table statements so that you prevent the primary key from being null or any column that you don't want to be null. When you insert a row into a table, then the data without a specified value will be set to null by default. Or you can use the default constraint to provide a different default value other than null. Like for example, if you had a var char and you wanted it just to say unknown instead of being null, you just say after the word var char, you say title var char default quotation marks, just put unknown in there and then it'll always default it to unknown rather than null. Also, to make sure that all column values are different, use the unique constraint. A constraint for a single column is called a column level constraint, and for multiple columns, it's called a table level constraint. MySQL helps to improve query performance by creating an index for each unique constraint. And if you need to specify a min or max value for, or a range for a column value, then use the check constraint. For example, check year is greater than or equal to 2000 to verify that the year is within this decade or check age is less than 120 to make sure that a person's age is valid. The constraint is violated if check comes back false or unknown for null values and the check constraint may be either column level or table level constraint. In addition, you can use the between keyword to check if a value is between a specific range. The constraint keyword lets you assign a name for your constraint and if you don't use the constraint keyword then MySQL will just auto assign a default name for you Creating a name for your constraint is helpful for database programmers because it helps you identify why they're getting certain violations when they make any update to the database. You can create constraints when the table is created or add them later with the alter table command. MySQL supports a drop constraint with the drop index constraint name for a unique constraint and then and drop check constraint name for a check constraint. Let's try some of these out in MySQL. In the following create table movie sequel, uh, let's say that I didn't want this title to ever be null. All I need to do is just say not null. And it will that's adding a constraint to make sure that this title is never set to null with an insert when a new movie is added to that database table. To make things a little easier, you could just specify a default title by saying default and let's just say unknown title. You could do something like that. So if the title is not set in an insert, it'll just automatically set the title to unknown title rather than setting it to null or giving you some kind of restraint violation because it was null. We could even default the budget to zero so that that's not null either. If you wanted to make sure a column was unique, and set a new column director or char 100, you could just stick the unique keyword after it. And that makes sure that no rows have the same director in that table. But you know, there's obviously going to be some rows where a director created multiple movies, so that's probably not the best idea. So what you could do instead is get rid of that unique constraint and add a unique constraint down here. And you can say that title and director combination of these have to be unique. That basically says you can't have two identical rows with the same title and director. We can add a check constraint on the release here. Check release date is greater than or equal to 2000 and 20. This will make sure that all the movies that are added to the movies table, movie table are from the year 2020 and up. And if we wanted to assign a name for this constraint, we could just stick constraint down here, call it verify year, and then stick our little check right there. like that and we wouldn't really need it there and now it's going to verify that date.